It used to be thought that the events that changed the world were things like big bombs, maniac politicians, huge earthquakes, or vast population movements. But it has now been realised that this is a very old-fashioned view held by people totally out of touch with modern thought. The things that really change the world, according to chaos theory, are the tiny things. A butterfly flaps its wings in the Amazonian jungle, and subsequently a storm ravages half of Europe. Welcome to the captivating world of the butterfly effect. This first story takes us back to a seemingly insignificant neighborly conflict in 1940s Texas that started a chain reaction that caused one of the most tragic incidents in US history and changed global politics forever. In 1946, local city council incumbent Charles Hazard discovered his neighbor's dog on his lawn one too many times in his opinion, leading him to poison the dog's food with glass, causing massive internal bleeding and the dog to sadly pass. The owner of that poor dog, a 13-year-old boy by the name of Charlie Wilson, set out to avenge his beloved pet. Following the incident, Wilson obtained a driver's permit and drove 96 voters to the polls in his family's two-door Chevrolet after telling them that Hazard had purposely killed his dog. Hazard lost out on re-election by a margin of 16 votes. Wilson cited this as the day he fell in love with America and encouraged him to pursue a career in politics which later led him to becoming a state senator by the age of 27. Later dubbed Good Time Charlie, Wilson's political career is well documented thanks to the 2003 New York Times bestseller Charlie Wilson's War, which was subsequently turned into a Hollywood movie starring Tom Hanks. But what's significant to this particular story is Wilson's involvement in the Soviet-Afghan War that began in 1979. Wilson played a pivotal role in Operation Cyclone, the CIA's program to arm and train Mujahideen fighters in Afghanistan. Wilson's passionate support for the Afghan cause was instrumental in securing significant US funding for the resistance. This support helped the Mujahideen defeat the Soviets, a victory that contributed to the eventual collapse of the Soviet Union. However, the unforeseen butterfly effect of this intervention was that it created a power vacuum in Afghanistan leading to the rise of the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. The militarization and training provided to these groups inadvertently set the stage for global terrorism, culminating in the horrific attacks of September the 11th, 2001. Thus, the tragic death of a boy's dog in Texas in the 1940s set off a chain of events that influenced US foreign policy and inadvertently contributed to one of the most devastating days in modern history. At number four is a tale not just of historical significance, but of a decision that potentially saved all life on Earth. This is the story of Lieutenant Colonel Stanislav Petrov, and how his judgment call, one fateful night, could be one of the greatest examples of the butterfly effect in recent history. On September the 26th, 1983, during one of the most tense periods of the Cold War, the fate of the world unknowingly rested on the shoulders of Petrov, a Soviet military officer. That night, the Soviet Union's early warning systems erroneously detected incoming American missiles. Protocol dictated a swift and severe response, a full-scale nuclear retaliation. Petrov, faced with the decision of a lifetime, chose to trust his instincts over the automated systems. He reasoned that if the US were to launch an attack, it wouldn't be limited to just a few missiles. His choice to report the alarm as a false one going against protocol and the apparent evidence was a small but pivotal act. This decision made in a split second prevented what could have escalated into a catastrophic nuclear war. Petrov's story is a remarkable instance where a single individual's action or inaction in a critical moment changed the course of history. His decision, based on a gut feeling, a hunch, essentially stopped the domino effect that would have led to a global nuclear holocaust. The next tale is of Roman Emperor Constantine and a celestial phenomenon that dramatically influenced the course of religious history. According to historical accounts, on the eve of the Battle of the Milvian Bridge in 312 AD, Constantine saw a vision in the sky, possibly a meteorite, which he interpreted 
as a divine sign. Geologists, including Swedish expert Jens Ormo, suggested that what Emperor Constantine witnessed was indeed a meteorite impact, leaving behind what is now known as the Sorrente Crater in central Italy. Radiocarbon dating aligns the crater's formation with the time of Constantine's vision. The meteorite, visible from afar, would have appeared as a brilliant fireball before impacting with a force comparable to a small nuclear explosion, estimated at about one kiloton. Emboldened by this vision, Constantine commanded his troops to adorn their shields with the Christian symbol, the Cairo. The next day, his army won a decisive victory against a rival Roman emperor. This victory was not just a military turning point, it was a pivotal moment for Christianity. Constantine's experience and subsequent victory led to his conversion to Christianity, a monumental shift given that he was the ruler of one of the most powerful empires in the world. This personal transformation had a butterfly effect of epic proportions. In 313 AD, he issued the Edict of Milan, granting religious tolerance throughout the empire and effectively elevating Christianity from a persecuted religion to one of favoured status. This shift set in motion a series of events that would lead to Christianity becoming the dominant religion in the Roman Empire and eventually much of the world. The construction of churches was commissioned, Christian clergy were granted privileges, and Christian symbols became prevalent in art and culture. Thus, a single celestial event, a meteorite sighting, led to a change in heart for one man, which in turn altered the religious landscape of an entire empire and shaped the trajectory of Christianity as a major world religion. It's a striking example of how a singular, seemingly isolated occurrence can ripple through history, leaving an indelible impact on the beliefs, cultures and lives of countless generations. In the small town of Passau, Germany, a young boy, just four years old, slipped and fell into the icy waters of a frozen river. As the chilling currents threatened to claim him, fate intervened in the form of a local priest, Johann Koiberger, who reached out and saved the boy from a watery grave. Little did Koiberger know, his act of kindness saved a life that would dramatically reshape the world. As the boy got older, he dreamed of becoming a professional artist and twice sought admission to the prestigious Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna. But fate, it seemed, had other plans. His applications were rejected not once, but twice. These rejections struck deep chords of anger and disillusionment in him steering him towards a path far removed from the world of art. Years later, amidst the muddy trenches and the brutal chaos of World War I, another twist of fate awaited our protagonist, now a soldier in the German army. In a fleeting moment of mercy, a British soldier named Henry Tandy gazed upon our wounded protagonist and rather than pulling the trigger, he let him live. This moment of compassion on the battlefield unknowingly spared the life of a future tyrant. Now imagine, for a moment, a world where any of these events had taken a different turn. A world where a young boy didn't emerge from the icy river, where a soldier in the trenches made a different decision, or where an aspiring artist was accepted into an art academy. The tapestry of history might have been woven entirely differently. Instead, the boy who was saved grew up to be the man who led Germany into the throes of World War II a cataclysmic event that engulfed the globe, claiming millions of lives and leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Thus, the ripples of a young boy's near-death experience in a frozen river, a moment of mercy in the trenches, and the sting of rejection at a VNS art academy, set in motion waves that would crash upon the shores of history, reshaping the world in ways that we truly can't fully comprehend. Our next tale can only be described as a kaleidoscope of butterfly effects, each one more obscure than the last, but all contributing to the largest scale of warfare the world has ever known, and arguably the majority of global warfare ever since. In fact, the lasting impact of these events cannot truly be comprehended, they are that far reaching. This story involves a sandwich, a wrong turn, and a sequence of events that reshape the world. This is the story of Gavrilo Princip, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, and the unforeseen chain of events that unfolded. On a fateful summer day in 1914 in Sarajevo, Bosnia, the young nationalist Gavrilo Princip found himself in the right place at the right time, purely by chance. Earlier that day, an attempt on the heir of the Austrian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, 
had failed. Shaken but unharmed, the Archduke decided to visit the wounded from the earlier bombing. However, a critical communication error led his driver to take a wrong turn. Meanwhile, Princip, disheartened by the earlier failed assassination attempt, stepped into a cafe for a sandwich. As destiny would have it, the Archduke's car stopped right outside this cafe. Seizing the moment, Princip stepped outside and assassinated Franz Ferdinand and his wife. This single act of violence was the spark that ignited the powder keg of European tensions. World War I erupted, a war so vast and devastating that it was known as the Great War. Empires crumbled, maps were redrawn, and millions perished. The war's conclusion saw the signing of the Treaty of Versailles, which imposed harsh penalties and reparations on Germany. This treaty, intended to prevent another war, instead sowed the seeds of resentment and economic despair that would facilitate the rise of the aforementioned tyrant and the onset of World War II. The Second World War dwarfed its predecessor in scale and horror, leading to unimaginable atrocities. The war also accelerated technological advancements, most notably the development of nuclear weapons. The United States, in a bid to end the war and demonstrate overwhelming force, dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, introducing the world to a new era of warfare. The end of World War II marked the beginning of the Cold War, a period of geopolitical tension between the US and the Soviet Union. This era saw the proliferation of nuclear weapons, the space race and numerous proxy wars around the globe. The balance of nuclear terror maintained a fragile peace, as the prospect of mutually assured destruction dissuaded open conflict between the superpowers. Moreover, the world witnessed significant political, social and technological changes in the decades following. The formation of the United Nations aimed to prevent future global conflicts. In numerous technological advancements, initially fueled by war, transformed civilian life, leading to the digital revolution and an interconnected global society. Thus, from a sandwich in Sarajevo to a world changed forever. The butterfly effect of that day in 1914 echoes through the annals of history. It serves as a profound reminder of how seemingly trivial choices and chance encounters can alter the course of human destiny in ways unimaginable. The events of June the 28th, 1914 are therefore, in my mind, history's most significant butterfly effect. As we reach the end of this video, it is important to address a few points of historical contention. The tales of the young Austrian boy being rescued from a river and his life being spared by Henry Tandy in the trenches of World War I are subject to some debate among historians. While these stories are widely recounted and documented, concrete evidence remains elusive and they may forever reside in the realm of historical speculation. Similarly, the popular anecdote of Gavrilo Princip pausing for a sandwich leading to his fateful encounter with Archduke Franz Ferdinand is often met with scepticism also. The exact circumstances that brought Princip to that specific location at that crucial moment remain unclear. These narratives, while captivating, remind us of the complexities and uncertainties in reconstructing historical events. Nevertheless, these stories, whether fully verifiable or not, serve as compelling illustrations of the butterfly effect in history. They remind us how history is often a tapestry woven from threads of chance, choice and coincidence, highlighting the profound fragility and interconnectedness of our reality. So, from a symbolic meteorite in the sky to a cafe in Sarajevo, we've seen how the threads of history are woven from the smallest and most unexpected of events. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the butterfly effect in history, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing for more fascinating dives into the stories that shape our world. Do you know of any other historical events that demonstrate the butterfly effect? We'd love to hear your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Thank you again for watching and until next time, keep exploring the fascinating layers of our past.